What's up, YouTube? My name's Chance. The channel is Chance Bishop's Breaks, and today uh, we have ourselves a booster box of Pokemon Obsidian Flames, the newest Pokemon TCG set out on the market. So let's get right into this bad boy right here. Uh, we're looking for, of course, all of the brand new Charizards. Uh, there's a couple Charizards that are well over one and two hundred packs. So, of course, that uh, is the Charizard we're looking for. If you guys missed our last opening of Obsidian Flames, where we opened up two uh, ETBs, check out the playlist down below. That uh, Tyranitar is mostly up right there. Alright, so let's hope that uh, Obsidian Flames has the good packs. And what I mean by the good packs, the packs that don't uh, aren't overly sticky. And are uh, just a nightmare to uh, get rid of and to open up. Uh, but in our last opening, we had ourselves a pretty good run of hits. Uh, Tokikiss is our first hollow rare. Uh, we got, what, two, two special art rares, two illustration rares. Uh, a couple other decent pulls, honestly out of the two ETB, so definitely check that out. I mean, it's it's a good product so far. I'm enjoying this product um, for the little bit I have opened so far. Buffalant, Froakie, and Thunderous for uh, the second pack in the opening. All right, here we go. Oh, moving on to pack number three. All right, Grumpig, Claude Sire, Palafin is the rare. Pack number four of our booster box. Here we are going to be opening up three total uh, booster boxes on the channel. This is booster box number one of three. So definitely stay tuned. Uh, for more, we got Darkrai as the rare as I lose my hand in the transla uh, transition. Ah, oh, well, there we go. So that was the Darkrai for the rare. Come on, pack. There we go. Uh, for the most part, these packs are opening up fairly nicely. I have nothing to really complain about when it comes to how they're opening. Uh, but Houndor, Charmeleon, and Reverum is uh, going to be the double rare. So Reverum EX for the double rare. All right, there you go. Big Reverum pull right there. It's our first Reverum I think we've pulled out of this set. I'm definitely expecting some doubles of some of uh, the EXs. Uh, but we did pull the Charizard double ran the last opening. Oh, the Nine Tails! Oh, the Nine Tails illustration rare. Uh, there you go. An absolutely beautiful card, that Nine Tails. I was just looking at this Nine Tails on Instagram uh, before I was opening up, and someone had made a custom of it where they turn it into the shiny Nine Tails, where it's got the. I think it's gray. It's got the blue tips on it. Oh, it was beautiful. Um, absolutely beautiful card. Uh, but the Nine Tails illustration rare. An absolutely beautiful card. All right, let's keep a uh, let's keep the opening going. Not trying to have any thirty minute openings. Dark Cry and Ente. So Dark Cry in the reverse hollow spot. Uh, yeah, trying to trying to cut down on some of my thirty minute openings I seem to have when it comes to Pokemon. That'll be 25 plus minutes of just opening, and then you get the recap at the end. So, not trying to rush through, but we are trying to make this an enjoyable video uh, without doing too much. Swablu and Togekiss again. So there you go. It's our second Togekiss of uh, the opening. Not even halfway through the box. that the code card as we surpass the five 
uh, ish minute mark. Dartex Boltoy and Scizor for the rare. First time we've seen Scizor this opening. We've seen Darkrai, Ante, Scizor, Toka Kiss twice, so uh, not, not too bad. All right, Belief Energy. We have Litwick, Poppy, and an Absol EX for the Ultra Rare. Full Art Absol Ultra Rare. Absolutely great card right there. That's our first Ultra Rare there of the opening. I mean, honestly, the fact that we pulled two Ultra Rares and two ETBs just uh, kind of talks about how stacked, hopefully, this product is. You know, I, I prefer stacked products over you know, products where things are a little harder to hit. I mean, it's more rewarding, of course, when things are harder to hit. Uh, then we just get stacked boxes, Skull Villain. Um, but it, I don't know. I guess it may, I guess it's a double edged sword right there. Where if every box contains, you know, uh, three or four double rares, uh, I guess four, like five to six double rares, you know, two illustration rares, uh, a special illustration rare, and all that fun stuff, uh, Claydol. It kind of takes away from the thrill of pulling the big chase cards. So, like, you know, the big Charizards. And, of course, you, I've seen boxes already where they've pulled uh, the Double Rare, uh, the Ultra Rare. And then they have the, like, the 1 in 200-something pack Charizard pull. All right, Bronze Log Caps, a Kid Rally, and Gita. One of our special illustration rares from our last opening. Uh, but as we make our way through uh, this box, comment down below what you think is, uh, I guess, what you think is, one, the best card in the entire set art-wise, and what your favorite card is art-wise. I know sometimes people, th those things don't always, uh, don't always line up. Where some people like to collect certain Pokemon in a set. So, you know, if you're a Wooper fan, you know, the Wooper cards might be uh, the number one card in the set for you. Uh, if you're a Charizard fan, hey, you're loving it right now, chasing some brand new Charizard cards. So, totally understand uh, that each person has their own thing they want to go for. Palafin. Good old fighting dolphin Pokemon, Palafin is. Alright, two packs away from the halfway point of... Uh, this open seems like we're making fairly uh, decent time right now. Flip the card. So for those of you who are picking up the code cards, please you know take a couple and then you know let some other people grab some. There you go, Coridon, EX. We get Lechonk. Yeah, we got Lechonk and Oinkalon back to back. Uh, but the Coridon EX for the double rare. You know, Coridon, Maridon being the two main ones from. Uh, the last set, uh, Padea Evolved, I'm sorry, we had three packs before the halfway point, not two packs. So, I was close, uh, but I like to open this pack. Yeah, how do, how, do, how do people that just open up packs on YouTube, how do they, you know, what do, what do they do to never have this issue where packs are just impossible to open? You know, because I'll watch... I watch YouTubers, and they never struggle with packs. You know, I watch, like, Pokemon openings, and they'll be like, whole booster box. Not one pack do they have to struggle with, like, like that. Am I just opening the packs wrong? Is it a, am I the problem here? I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it was me. Hi, I'm the problem. All right, Volcarona, there you go, the Pidgeot EX. Special Illustration Rare, and Dark Cry's back. But an absolute beautiful Pidgeot Special Illustration Rare. There you go on that one. Big pull right there. So that's our first Special Illustration Rare of the box. Third total from this set. Uh, and third different one, too. No one likes to pull the same card multiple times unless it's like that Giratina from... Uh, Origins, you know, it's a little different. Never pulled that one either. Bit a uh, bit unfortunate. 
but can't always pull everything. Skull villain. All right, moving on. As we make our way through the second half of this box, I'm going to pack number two in that second half. So we're looking for, hopefully, uh, maybe another illustration rare, maybe another couple double rares, maybe another ultra rare. As we make our way through, Palafin, it's like our third or fourth Palafin. Uh, Palafin looks like it's one of the more common of the rares. And, you know, of course, yeah, they're rares, and I get that. Uh, but you do have the rares that are the more common of the lot. You tend to see them, you know, two or three times more than your standard rare Pokemon card. Brash, like there, there you go, Reverum. Second Reverum EX of uh, the box. Dude, so nice, we pulled them twice. Yeah, three double rares, two of them being Reverum, that's what I'm talking about there. Uh, you always have your more common of uh, the higher rarity cards, which is uh, well, what drives them down value-wise. I guess that and, I guess, for TCG playability. If you have a card that just doesn't play well, it's no point of having it around on a deck. Cub Chew and Thunderous. Good old Thunderous Hollow right there. Alright, but as we make our way through the second half of this box, definitely hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new. We do upload content every Monday and Friday. Uh, every week. So brand new openings every Monday and Friday on the channel. There you go. Pidgeot EX for the double rare. Right? No, nope. ultra rare. My, uh, Shadow custom from the hand. So, Shadow made that look, the silver look like a little black right there, but that's the silver right there. Uh, so, that is the ultra rare full art Pidgeot. So, two full art Pidgeots in the same opening. And, uh, yeah, not uh, not too shabby. We're, we're, we're cleaning up shop here when it comes to the bird Pokemon. So, if you like birds and you like dragons, this is, this is your set. I guess not even if you like dragons. If you like birds and if you like. Charizard. Uh, this is your set. Darkrai is the rare. So, uh, we've picked up a couple Darkrai's so far in this opening. Here's your code card. Alright. Oddish, Finizen, Sharpedo, Lillipop, Bronzor, and Togekiss again. We're gonna have a whole Togekiss army by the end of this opening. Uh, we're going to have a whole playset. What's the playset Pokemon? Three or four? I don't imagine the gatherings for, I think, Yu-Gi-Oh! 3? Yu-Gi-Oh! might be three. So what's a playset here in Pokemon? Is it three or four? Let's go Villain. I like the Salandit. He's kind of looking mischievous, like a whole lizard. You know, perched on top of a rock right there. Just doing his best lizard-like thing. Card. Uh, but we are making our way through the camera up Smallville, and there you go. Ice Q EX right there. So the full heart Ice Q with the, um, oh, what's it called? What are the, the terrestrialized Fire Ice Q uh, for the uh, Ultra Rare. So big Ice Q uh, Ultra Rare. I think there's a really funny Ice Q terrestrialized uh, it's either an illustration rare or a special illustration rare, where he's just kind of like flying through the sky, it looked like, um, but he's terrestrialized, so I think it's, uh, just a funny art that, that make him look like, you know, Toxtricity, uh, for that rare, uh, but making our way probably the last quarter or so of uh, this box, so here's our code card. We got our Lightning Energy, Lapras, Gumshoe, Varoom, and Entei. Uh, so Varoom right there uh, for the Illustration Rare. So it's our second Illustration Rare of the box, uh, being the Varoom. So three, uh, one Special Illustration, two Illustration, three Ultra, and three Double uh, Rares so far in this opening. I mean, so far, pull-wise, not doing too shabby. Uh, it's a very, very nice amount of pulls. All 
right? Lillipop, Dragonair, Armor Rouge, Tadpole, and Gita. Tadbulb, not Tadpole. All right, we are moving on through uh, this one. So, dope, Dark Energy, a Lillipop, Pupitar, Volcarona, NK, Nummel, and a Houndstone EX. There you go, good old Houndstone, the new Doggo Pokemon. So, good old Houndstone for the EX. Uh, thankfully, not a third uh, Rever Room. Uh, that would just be unfortunate. All right, here we go. So, fighting energy. We have Volcarona, Altario, Wiglet, Drum, Drillbert, and Claydol. Only the second and third Claydol we've gotten so far. It seems like one of the. Also, I'm not keeping track of my Claydols. Seems like it's one of the more uh, un-pulled ones, or lesser pulled ones, I guess is the proper word. Sinisty, Nine Tails, Scizor. We'll set a Scovid in there. So what? Three packs remaining. Nummel, Houndoom, Magnazone, Buizel, Diggersby, and Darkrai. So good old Darkrai. At least the Darkrai is a really good art. Uh, not as good as the illustration rare art from... Oh, was it two sets ago? That was just a wild Darkrai art. Um, but... Duck Trio, Houndstoom, Diggersby, Mawal, Poppy, and a Greedent EX. So Poppy Special Illustration Ram. And the Greedent. So our second Poppy we've pulled. Oh, come on, where's Where is the opening on my sleeve? So Poppy. Now we have the Greedent Terastalized EX. That's going to be our fifth double rare of the opening. Uh, one pack left, right? One pack, nothing got hid behind the back. Nothing got hid behind the back. Last pack here, Obsidian Flames. Can we pull the Charizard? Can we pull uh, the Charizard? Uh, so hopefully, I mean, based, just based off of, there it goes, uh, just based off of how these pulls have gone so far, and Scovillain is the last card, uh, so just based on how the this box went, uh, hopefully the next two of our booster boxes go the same way. Uh, but getting into the recap right quick, uh, we had uh, Reverum for a double rare, not one, but two. Reverum double rares. Uh, we had the Greedent EX, uh, the Houndstone EX, and the Karadon EX. Uh, those are our double rares for the opening. Uh, we had three full art ultra rares. So we had the Ice Q EX, uh, the Pidgeot. And the Absol for the Full Art Ultra Rare EXs. Just straighten that out. Get the OCD out of the way. Uh, we had two illustration rares. Uh, one being the Varum. And the second being these awesome Ninetales art. So there you go. Those are our two illustration rares. And now we had not one, but two special illustration rares. Uh, so we did get a duplicate on this one, uh, but we had Poppy, and we had Pidgeot EX. So we cleaned shop on the Pidgeots, you know, getting two full art Pidgeots. But if you guys enjoy this opening, hit that like button, comment down below. Until next time, YouTube, though, peace out, rock on, stay super classy, and we'll catch you on the next opening.